What's up everybody, you're Nestor here back in action. Welcome to another adventure video. I'm stoked to say we're back in my hometown of South Lake Tahoe, California, ready to take you guys to the summit of Mount Tulac. It's gonna be a good time. I'm gonna show you guys all the highlights along the way. And then at the summit, we're gonna go ahead and enjoy a nice cold beer hailing from the mighty Coldwater Brewing Company. We've got a very special beer appropriately named for this trail adventure. So I'm stoked for that. Stay tuned for beer 30. Anyways, everybody, let's go ahead and have a good time. Let's hit the trail, shall we? Within the southwestern boundaries of Desolation Wilderness, at a height of 9,739 feet, stands the mighty Mount Talak. The name Talak is derived from the native Washoe word, Dalak, which translates to Big Mountain. Now there are a few ways up to the summit, but today we're going to be taking the main trail, which is the longest, but not short of any beautiful views, that's for sure. At a whopping 5 miles in, 5 miles out, this trail is no joke. With a hefty elevation gain of over 3,274 feet, be ready to break a solid sweat. The first highlight along the trail is Floating Island Lake. Two miles into this trail, this little beauty sits at about 7,222 feet and is for sure a great spot to rest up and enjoy the shade and get great views of the mountain. I mean, just look at that reflection. Back along the main trail, I came across a beautiful blue flower I'd never seen before known as the Explorer's Gentian. This little beauty is native to mid-elevation mountain ranges including the Sierra Nevada and the Cascade Range and is used for a variety of medicinal and spiritual purposes. And that is the Explorer's Gentian, on to the next stop. Next on the trail list is the majestic Cathedral Lake. This little beauty sits at about 7,615 feet above sea level and is a great secondary rest spot to enjoy the views around the lake before making your final push to the summit. Have a look. And now for the fun part, folks, we're going to be making our way through the remaining 2.4 miles or so through the treacherous path to the summit. You'll be leaving the comforts of the forest and into the rocky terrain, taking the switchbacks up to the high meadows, and then making your last push to the tippy top of this big mountain. Make sure to take in your electrolytes, trust me, you're going to need them, and strap up them boots, baby, because it's go time. Let's have some fun. After clearing the scree switchbacks, we arrive at the high meadows. Sitting just over 9,000 feet, we get some great views of the Crystal Range. And not to mention a beautiful view of Gilmore Lake and in the far back Lake Aloha. I really like this part of the hike. Something about this area is nostalgic. And I think the trees out here are pretty epic as well. Soon you'll pass the Glen Alpine Junction marker and from here it's eyes on the prize to the summit. Let's go. Summits right over there. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Right, everybody, welcome to the summit of Mount Tulac. Beautiful views. Check it out.
everybody. I really hope you guys enjoyed the trail adventure so far. Glad you guys are back up here with me, ready to celebrate the summit today with the Tahoe Cross from Coldwater Brewing Company. Let's crack it open and enjoy. All right. <laughs> On today's beer menu, we bring you the Tahoe Cross IPA, hailing from Tahoe's local hotspot for fine craft beers, Coldwater Brewery. The Tahoe Cross sits amongst a myriad of top shelf, all grain crafts to suit all your beer tastes. And if you come hungry, they have a vast food menu of California comfort food and a full bar for those of you hankering for something with a little bit more of a kick. Do yourself a favor and stop on by for a cold one or two. Trust me, you won't regret it. Getting down to the nitty gritty, the Tahoe Cross packs a heavy punch on the flavor profile. As it's described as big, dank hoppiness with an oh so sweet maltiness creating a nice balance. I thought that the Tahoe Cross IPA was a perfect choice as my summit beer due to its name paying homage to the great cross that forms on Tulac School of War in the wintertime and that is simply known by locals as the Tahoe Cross. This brew clocks in at a hearty 7.2 ABB and is loaded with an insane amount of hops per BBL. So if you're a hop hunter looking to get your fix, grab yourself an ice cold Tahoe Cross and enjoy. Now well, that's been it for Beer 30 folks. Cheers to you all from the summit and we'll see you on the next one. All right, everybody, that's gonna end today's trail adventure. I really hope you guys enjoyed hiking up to the summit of Mount Tulac today. It's been an epic day. Definitely put it on your bucket list. Also, I hope you guys enjoyed the beer, Beer 30 from uh, Coldwater Brewing. If you are in town, definitely stop by Coldwater Brewing Company, get yourself some warm food and some cold beers. Promise, you will not regret it. Anyways, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Smash that subscribe button. And uh, hit that little notification bell. And as always, happy trails, everybody. See you next time.